I got to take the boat out. Um, finally. Um, but there are a lot of um, sand banks outside of Savannah in this area. And uh, high tide and low tide is as much as nine feet different. So I learned the hard way that I need a depth finder or fish finder. So I found a relatively cheap one uh, for about a hundred dollars in Walmart. So let's see if that's gonna do the job for me. Electric cable. Kit for the transducer, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to show you how I'm going to install it instead. And here's the actual depth finder. And bracket. And transducer. And inscape. So, give that a shot. How it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to choose the location. And um, there is not really the perfect spot for it. Uh, so I'm going to put it here, kind of between these two. Uh, somewhat blocking the view, but not terribly. So I can still see around it. So the way it's going to be, if I put it right here, and then this will snap in. And it will be like this. So, um... If I look at other places, this is not enough space, not the right angle, so this one here will work. It has enough uh, room between my fingers and the screen, so this is, this is where it's going to go. So now, I'm going to anchor this one right here. And it came with some screws. I hope they're going to be um, strong enough to hold it. And I hope it should be able to tap through without pre-drilling. We'll see. so good. Now I'm going to take it off again because I'm going to um, make a hole underneath here where I can run the cables through so it's not visible but at least I'm going to tap these screw holes in there first. That's the location. Okay, snaps right in. And it, it can tilt. And I can spin it if I need to, which I really don't. It'll probably alright. So now, I um, need to drill a hole. It's going to be thick enough to push this through. Plus, plus that. So, I gotta find a drill bit that's big enough to do that. Maybe, we'll start with that one, and if it's not going to be big enough, we'll go to the next one. Okay, first 
Okay, one throw. Sit one way, so the flat side, yeah, power right here, and transducer, goes right here, there, and this is snap in. I'm gonna tighten them up more when I finally screw it in place, but that should be nice. Alright, so for power cord, I'm actually using little cheap extension cords, but they're more than sufficient. Um, and I have these little connectors here. Don't know what they call here, but in my country it's called Sucobito, which means sugar cube. Uh, which they're not, but um, and uh, I already wired them to connect. I don't need six, but I gotta take three of them on this side and use the other three on the other side of the boat. So I'm gonna use this one as one positive, and I'm going to use. These three four negative, positive and negative. Connected to power here. So this one I'm gonna connect. See if I can fit it into right here. And that still leaves me with two other or technically four other positions where I can connect something else. I do want some more distance. So between the positive and negative, where I'm going to screw them down at. So I'm going to open these up a little bit more. Alright, so let's see what I can come up with under here. Turn some light on. There. Okay. So, this is not very comfortable, but that's what I got to do in here. So, hopefully yours is, hopefully you have more space than I do.
so the transducer instead of mounting it outside we want to mount it inside the build and here it is and it has to be in the water or no air in between the water and the hole the way I'm going to do that uh, using this uh, this uh, compound um, and clean up real good there I haven't done that yet and then put this one down there and set the that transducer into this and uh, supposedly it is not going to read any errors because there's no air trapped between the transducer cable I run it back over here over here behind here coming up here and along with the electric cable I'm gonna run it up under here and this one is gonna be run up under here and then come up right here Okay, so now we're gonna hook up the power to the battery. So I think I got everything I need for it right here. Snipping off that. Alright, I want to try this. I haven't used it before. Let's see how that works. Basically, it's said to push them together and then cramp it. and then heat it. That's it.
Negative cable is on. No, positive is going to go on. Should have power here now. Now. So system unit. Alright, so there's still water in the bottom. But I'm gonna give this a try anyway. I don't have the patience to wait. about half Yeah, mm -hmm. 